So I'm going to change channers now and basically you just take one channer out, put the other channer in, and instead of stopping the low D, I'm going to stop the low A to bring in the D channer. Now, the D channer is just naturally louder and um, that's the one that I normally use at a session when it's really going and you want to cut through a little bit more because the D is just a little higher up. Now, one word about uh, tuning. Um, when you've got a cold instrument, it's going to be a little bit flatter and that goes for a chanter that's basically just been sitting in the air conditioning. Um, I wanted to run the air conditioner here in Asheville so that I could get it as dry as possible because I know it's very dry where you are in New Mexico. So I'm doing my best to simulate the uh, conditions. But um, So anyway, your, um, your body heat will warm up the bagpipe and that will make the pitch rise a little bit. So it's not unnatural to start to take them out of the case, you know, if it's a cold room, and, um, and ha you know, have a, a little bit of playing in a few minutes, you know, like you would with any instrument. I don't know if concertinas are like that, but, you know, most, most of your strings and harps and even flutes are like that. And bagpipes, definitely so. Um, so, anyway, I'll just play a couple of tunes on the D channer, and uh, I think I'll play you a traditional Irish reel called The Mountain Road. And then, let's see, I'll go into a jig called uh, Freyhars Jig. And these are in the keys that you would play at the session. I'll just do a little tuning here. You'll notice to turn drones off, you just put your finger on, and then to get them back on, you stop and get going again. tunes and those are your pipes. Uh, thank you very much for being my customer. I had a blast making this set and please keep in touch with um, how they're going and stuff like that.